Recommended. Well, let's see how, the, how we get all of these Army Corps of Engineers lakes that, that dot the Ozarks today. Uh, a lot of these stem from a, uh, a Depression era congressional act called the Comprehensive Flood Control Act. And this set in motion a series of surveys and plans and only a small percentage of the dams that the Army Corps of Engineers planned and surveyed out were ever built. You know, there are several of them that were built, but they had many, many more on the docket uh, that uh, just never got built for one reason or another because they were considered too expensive. Or as you crept more into the, the latter part of the 20th century, there were environmental issues. The whole idea of damming up these free-flowing streams started to lose uh, lose appeal for a lot of people, and uh, you get into the you know the the uh, conservation and preservation movements spring up, environmental movement, but many of them were built, and had it not been for World War II getting in the way in those early years after the act was passed, probably they would have been built long before they were some of them. But as it as it was, we'll look at them by uh, the river valley or by the watershed and we'll start with the white river watershed and the first one built this was not the first of the army corps dams built in the ozarks uh, we'll get to that one in a minute but the first of the white river watershed army corps dams built was uh, the one that was norfolk dam that, that formed lake norfolk the dam is in north arkansas uh, the lake extends all the way up into the southern part of Missouri, into Ozark County, Missouri. And uh, it's obviously the North Fork of the White River that was, that was dammed. And uh, that one was, uh, the, the preparation and the planning for that all started before the war started. And they already had it going, so they went ahead and finished that one. But they didn't do any more dam building projects in the Ozarks until after the war had ended. And a lot of that was just a manpower issue. So many of the, the young men who, who normally would have been working on the, the dam projects were in service and were gone. But uh, so Lake Norfolk was completed in 44. Clearwater Lake on the Black River over in Southeast Missouri was completed in uh, 48. And then you had uh, Bull Shoals in 51. That was, uh, that was a big one, bigger than the first two. Table Rock in 58, that's the one down in southwest Missouri on White River. Greer's Ferry on the Little Red in 63. And then the last one in the White River Valley, Beaver Dam in northwest Arkansas in 66. So lots of dam building. Three of them on the, the main channel of the White River. Here's a, if you go to the, that website, if it's still up, I think it's, it's still active. Uh, there's lots of dam building pictures on that one as well. And in this case, it's the Bull Shoals Dam. And today, if you visit Bull Shoals Dam, there's actually a big visitor center up there on that hill. It's not pictured there. This is an older picture, but it's a pretty nice visitor center up there. And the Osage Basin or the Osage Watershed, now, how would you pronounce that one? Palm de Terre. It looks like Palm de Terre, doesn't it? Is anybody from that area? Anybody visit the lake? I've heard people say Palm de Tar a lot. Okay, Palm de Tar, that's, that's one you hear. And some of the, some of the old timers, the, the real locals in the area, uh, pronounced it uh, pumley tar. You know, in the Ozarks, we don't, we don't really pay attention to spelling. It's just, whatever, however the mood suits us, we'll, we'll say it. And, and that was, uh, we had a, I had an elderly gentleman in class, uh, in this class last spring, and he said that it was always uh, pumley tar when, uh, you know, for him. And, but, but you hear uh, palm de tar or 
You know, I'd always said Palm de Terre, but I'm an outsider. You know, I didn't know. I've, I've never been on the lake before. So you got uh, the Pumwe Tar or the Palm de Terre or the Palm the whatever you, you want to call that. Again, it's all, it's just whatever you want to do. We're, we're about letting people do what they want to do in the Ozarks. That's why people like to settle here. You know, we'll leave you alone. If you want to mispronounce stuff, go ahead and do it. Uh, this one, the Stockton Lake was formed. You can see these are uh, mostly later, uh, the 60s and into the 70s, Stockton Lake on the Sauk River. And, and then you get the last one, the last of the, the major Army Corps of Engineers dam building projects to be completed in the Ozarks. Uh, the uh, Kaysinger Bluff Dam, which was later named Truman Lake on the Osage River. The, the first two, uh, the Palm de Tar and the Sauk, are tributaries of the Osage. And these are all in sort of the northwestern corner of the Ozarks. You said these were the last four done though? Uh, well, you, you never say never uh, in this kind of stuff, but I would say there, there are no immediate, as far as I know, there are no immediate plans to resurrect any of these, these dam building projects. The Army Corps of Engineers still probably has a, a warehouse of filing cases full of plans for dams. I know they had there were all kinds of dams planned, even for small streams, you know, little tributaries and stuff that were never built for one reason or another. So they're still out there. And as far as I know, there's no one has ever come along and said, burn all the blueprints. We're never going to do these. They're just, they've just been sort of tabled indefinitely as far, as far as I know. Did I read that they're actually taking down some dams on the Colorado River? They may be. Uh, uh, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me. At some point, you've got to do something. There, you know, you've either got to do some major repairs on them or spruce them up or, or take them down or let them crumble or something. You know, we're, you know, we're not here very long. If we live you know, 90 years, we think we've, we've accomplished something around here. And you can imagine you know, two, 300 years from now, I don't, I don't know if any of these dams are still going to be up. What we may decide, you know, we, we may all go back to nature and want free-flowing streams again. So I, I, I don't know. You know, it's, our, our horizons are limited by our own mortality, and we, can't, we don't often think beyond our own lives, you know, never, much less 500, 1,000 years down the road. But at some point, the dams are not going to be here. I just don't know when it is, you know, and I probably won't be around to see it. Uh, is Fellows Lake dammed? Fellows Lake, the the local lake here. Yeah, yeah it's it's a it's a dam, but uh, yeah, pretty much any in the Ozarks anywhere that anything's called a lake, yeah. or a big pond, you know, it's it's been dammed uh, in some way. Yeah, it's just uh, I didn't include any of the more kind of municipal lakes like that, you know, the smaller sorts of things on here. And, uh, but yeah, that's, there are several of those too, you know, kind of your local lakes. But, uh, but this one, Truman Lake was, the, I, I think this was, as far as I know, this was the last of the Army Corps lakes to be built in the Ozarks and nothing's been built uh, since that point. I do know that, uh, Millie, going back to your question about are they done, or, or is there a possibility for others? It's been within the last 10 years, when I was still teaching down in, in Arkansas, there was, a, there was a movement by some local people. Uh, there's a, uh, the river that I grew up close to. It's really just a big creek uh, close to my family's farm, but it's called Strawberry River. It's a tributary of the Black River. And uh, there was a movement afoot to, to bring the... The, the shelved dam project for the Strawberry River back out and activate it and get the dam built again. This was in the early 2000s. And immediately there, was a, there uh, was a group of people who came out and protested and said, we don't want the dam and you know, what's, what's the use? 
what, that kind of stuff, and something happened, and it just kind of disappeared. The talk of it disappeared. But uh, as far as I know, none of these things have ever got the complete and final acts. So should, you know, should things change at some point, I guess they could, they could bring them back out on the table. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. The first of the Army Corps dams was this one, uh, constructed at Wapapello Lake on the St. Francis River over in southeast Missouri. And it is still there today. I was just there last summer, as a matter of fact, and toured the, uh, their, their gatehouse that they've got there. And I don't think that one was, a, was an electricity generating dam, uh, but it's a small, small lake, small dam. But it was completed just before World War II, as you can see. 